Hey, this is Barb Carey with the Woman Ice Angler Project, and I am super stoked because this year I'm going to have this bigger enclosed trailer by Legend. And I used to only be able to haul one ATV. Now I can haul two ATVs or a snowmobile and an ATV so me and my buddy can ride together um, and I can fit more gear. Just what we need, more gear. But one storage system you can install on the interior of these trailers is the Z-Track system. As you can see here, this black stuff has all these little uh, holes in the heavy duty metal and there's all sorts of accessories that clip in. So I had this on my old trailer, loved it, but now I got to install it on my new trailer. One quick tip about installing this stuff, it does go fairly easily. I'm using these self tapping screws with the hex head there. So I just have to put the hex head fit on the driver, it'll drive right in. Where the interior is finished, there's already screws that are here that actually shows you where the studs are. That's where the studs are. And this will screw right into those metal or aluminum studs right in the middle of the trailer. Be very careful and make sure you're using the right length screw because the guy at the trailer store said he's had several come in that had all sorts of screw holes poked all the way outside. What a nightmare that would be. So this is, we're just starting now. We'll uh, add a little to this video when we're all done and we'll show you what it looks like. We've already checked, we didn't poke through, so stay tuned. So as you can see, we're getting just ready to get loaded the ATV, so I'm gonna show you what we, the rest of the stuff we installed. This is the E-Track. And we have all the augers mounted. They're solid in there. They're not going anywhere. Um, we have all the hitches, uh, GCI table and chairs. And uh, we're going to get a couple more shacks that we're going to add once we pick them up from the factory. We have all our Mr. Heaters, our Vexlars, all the propane that we need. So now we're just going to pull in the two ATVs and then do a top row rack of one person shacks and we'll be set to fish a bunch of gals individually and uh it took us a while to figure out where we're going to put everything but i think we have it dialed in and we're pretty excited about being this organized this year for this trip we'll be able to use this all season hopefully get some new women ice anglers engaged in the sport and uh take someone that are already engaged on some new adventures so Thanks for uh, watching this uh, Women on Ice this season, and make sure you like the Facebook page, and we'll close it out with one last look when we're ready to pull out. So one thing to keep in mind is when you're towing a long trailer, you have to take your turns very wide, because perhaps you might come across a situation where there's a huge landscaping boulder at the entry of a driveway of somewhere you're trying to go. If you don't take that turn wide enough, that large landscaping boulder can hit your fender and maybe perhaps rip it off from the trailer frame. So just another thing to be mindful when you're towing a long trailer. So we're in another phase of getting our Legend trailer ready for the Women Ice Angler Project. And what we've discovered with these E-Track system is they have these two by four attachments so you can put a two by four to cross span. We've done this before to haul kayaks in the summer, but now for the first time we have our one person shacks. We're taking just one person's this year. That's kind of our theme. We're gonna fish independently and uh, they will ride nicely up here off the floor and give us room to pack more stuff. We're already hauling two ATVs. You can see all the way through to the front. And um, we can pack all sorts of heaters and shacks and augers and fishing rods and electronics. So we're getting pretty excited. One feature that these have is I got these quarter inch three in pinned and I just drilled a hole through the two by four and that'll just go right through there to help secure it so that two by four won't bounce out. We won't find a, a mess in here. Stuff does bounce around quite a bit in a trailer, but uh, if you secure things properly, especially with this E-Track system, it's a piece of cake. Well, we did it. Women Ice Angler Project has completed another mission up here on Lake of the Woods. We're all packed up and ready to go home. And uh, with this Legend trailer, we're able to pack so much gear in here. 
Look at how we have those one persons. Those would usually take up so much room. They're not that heavy, but it's uh, it's just works perfectly. Um, you know, you gotta make sure you balance your load. You always wanna do that. Make sure everything is secured inside. But uh, everything we got in here, it's just, it was just a great trip. Our gear is all full of ice and snow and um, <laughs> we're packed to the hilt, but boy, I tell you, this trailer has been awesome. And we're pulling it with this um, Toyota Tundra Pro. And this is a 24 foot aluminum trailer. And this truck pulls it like you don't even know it's there. It's got built in um, electric brakes. The brake controller's in there. It has 10,000 pound towing capacity. 1700 pound payload capacity um it has an anti-slip built-in traction so when we're driving home and it's snowy the, the truck is smart enough to figure out what it needs to do to keep you safe and we couldn't be more thankful for, to for toyota all the sponsors this year it's just been a great event and uh thanks for watching and sharing and liking our videos and if you're thinking about a trailer for ice fishing these enclosed trailers are uh, amazing. A big shout out to Big O's Trailer in uh, Portage, Wisconsin. Um, tell them you're with us. They may probably give you a deal. Thanks. See you next time.